Hey everybody, Stephen Levine from NASCAR Illustrated, standing here in the A2 wind tunnel in Mooresville, North Carolina with Cup driver Josh Wise. We're getting ready to uh, throw the bike in here in the A2 wind tunnel and uh, do some testing and see if we can't get some performance gains for some training I've been doing. Did that start just as sort of a fitness regimen for, to, to help you in, in, your, in your driving career, or how did that come about? Oh, it just started um, uh, with me just wanting to be as fit as I can in the race car and not worry about fatiguing in the race car, and I started off cycling about three years ago. And uh, me and a buddy of mine, Scott Speed, who races as well, did a triathlon um, almost exactly a year ago, a sprint triathlon. And who, who won between you and Scott? Scott beat me. Oh, yeah, man. Scott beat me. <laughs> now I've done a, a sprint triathlon in the Olympic, and then I'm uh, getting ready to compete in a half Ironman in a couple weeks on our off weekend with the uh, ultimate goal of doing the full Ironman this December in Mexico. And refresh us, what does a full Ironman consist of? It is a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike ride, and a full marathon to finish it off. So you it's know, about yeah. an 11 hour, 10, 10, 9, depending on how fast you are, 9, 10, 11, and I think the cutoff is 16 hours to complete it. So they pull a, you off the course in 16 hours? I think so, it's a long day. Triathlons are dependent on human propulsion, whereas motorsports are dependent on mechanical propulsion. So does that mean that uh, there's a little bit more pressure on you when you're competing in a triathlon than maybe when you're behind the wheel of a car? There is, there's no excuse, right? If you don't do as good as you wanted to do, then there's not really many, there's not a crew chief you can blame it on or, a, or the guys back at the shop or something like that or a motor blowing up, I mean, you're, you're it. So uh, it's, it's how much you want to put into it and how hard you're willing to work at it. Definitely just changed my fitness level and my and my comfort in the car and um, and just I mean I'm to the point where I have just no fatigue at all in the car, which is a huge asset to have in these long races, especially as we go through the summer. Put a lot of work into it, and uh, we're just trying to get that last little bit out of uh, my posture and the bike and, and speed and everything that we can get, just like we would do with a race car before going to Daytona. Two weeks after Homestead is uh, the full Ironman in Cozumel, Mexico, and uh, and then I'll finish my year off. 